Okay, hey people of YouTube, hey instructor Miriam. Um, so we are here at KJQF runway 02. Uh, I'm just gonna be doing some crosswind practice and uh, soft feel takeoff and landing practice. We have a 14 degree or 14 uh, mile an hour crosswind coming from directly east uh, 090. And yeah, I'm gonna practice crosswind landings and takeoffs while also practicing short field, or no, we're gonna do soft field the first time. So, here we go. Um, I have like 7,000 feet of runway, which would be perfectly fine. Uh, if the engine quits above 1,000 feet, I'm gonna turn around. If it's below 1,000 feet, I'll try to make the runway. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's gonna be fine. So, here we go. So we got a short field, so we're gonna go ahead. No, we're gonna do soft field, soft field. So 10 degrees of flaps here. And um, we got a right crosswind once we get on the runway. So I'm gonna put that in when we get right over there because right now we're going directly into the wind. And uh, here we go. So as I come here, I'm not gonna stop, but I am gonna put in my crosswind correction because the wind is blowing from the right. And full throttle. And yep, getting pushed over a little bit. Almost stalled a little. All right, there's rotation speed. We're gonna take out the flaps. And I'm gonna climb. All right, so now I am crabbed into the wind a little bit. I actually need to crab a little bit more. There we go. And there's the rock quarry. Over on one second. Over there is the rock quarry. We're at 1,100 feet. I'm going to turn to heading 120, which is my uh, yeah, crosswind leg. All right. Oh, about 90 degrees from the runway. Now let's go to a 2-1. Actually, we're going to go to a south heading 180 because... The wind's blowing, and I don't want to get blown into there, into the runway. So, 180 should be good here. Go ahead and get into cruise. Trim it for cruise. Wake up my controllers so they don't pop into my face on final like they do every other time. Alrighty. We are at traffic pattern altitude on downwind for runway 02. All right, I'm going to start landing. Carb heat will be on here, but we don't have carb heat. In this plane, in X plane, there's no carb heat. So let's go ahead and do that. 10 degrees of flaps and pitch for an 80 degree, or 80 um, knot descent for now. Wait for the runway to be off the back of your 40 or 45 degree off your back. Go ahead and turn base. Let the speed drop down to about 75 to 70 while also going to the next amount of flaps. Now, one thing I am going to do here that I didn't think about before, I'm not going to go full flaps on this because there's wind. Um, it's better to not use full flaps when you have wind because of the added lift makes more problems with the wind itself i'm also turning early because i'm getting pushed gaining a little bit too much speed here but i think it'll be fine 
We're just gonna let it come in how it is. I'm a little high, but that's okay. We're just gonna let it float. I'm also staying to the right of the runway because I know that I'm gonna get pushed to the right or to the left. So I'm just staying to the right. I'm staying crab this time um, because I was told to give it more right rudder. So I'm not gonna completely straighten out. And I've noticed I can control the center line a lot better like this. And then so at this point, I'm gonna do that and switch to the other situation. And that was kind of a hard landing there. That one was hard. I floated up um, and came back down. So yeah. All right, flaps up. And actually we're just gonna stop on the runway right here. Um, I'm gonna do a short field. So 10 degrees of flaps. Brakes, full power, ailerons into the wind, and go. We're also going to do a max climb. Uh, we're going to go max climb, so we're going to go 60 knots, and we're going to hold a 60 knot climb out. So I'm holding 60 knots, getting roughly the max climb of 720 feet per minute in the Cessna 172 in. And yep, so we're gonna sit here and wait till we get the traffic pattern and altitude at 60 knots. Need more right, a lot more right rudder. All right, we got a traffic pattern. Now I'm gonna turn while also allowing my airspeed to build. Or not traffic pattern, altitude, but a uh, thousand feet. I meant to say a thousand feet. Now that I've gotten close to 80 knots, basically, I'm gonna go ahead and pull flaps out, let it climb up at 80 knots the rest of the way. I apologize for sounding a little uh, off. I am a little off at the moment for various reasons, but it's okay because we are at home in a chair. So now I am turning right to heading of 180 South. We are at 1700. Gonna pull power to the bottom of the green arc. Or, yeah, the bottom of the green arc in the uh, RPM. And uh, yeah, see, hands aren't on the wheel either or just uh, yoke even though you can't tell. I'll just tap it with my fingers just to show I'm not touching it. I don't know how that would work, but still. All right, let's go ahead and go to 1500 RPM and pitch up. We're gonna do 10 degrees of flaps, pitch back down for 80 knots. Give it that rudder. Still don't have 80 knots, so we're gonna pitch down some more. All right, we got 45 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and turn. So uh, heading 250 roughly. Keep 75 knots in there. I should be around base, I am. Wonderful. All right, get ready to put in some more flaps. Bring it in, I'm gonna turn a little early and a little harder than I should, honestly, but that's so I don't overshoot. I'm gonna leave the flaps right there. I'm not putting any more flaps in because of the wind. Line up with the runway this time while keeping my aileron wing low, the wing low method. One wing lower than the other one, which not quite. I 
Also, I've noticed that letting that right rudder come back in a little bit does help you get over to the right. That's why my uh, instructor was yelling at me, right rudder, right rudder, because I was drifting and I didn't know how to fix it. And you fix it by doing that just a little bit. Like if it's, you know what I mean, like you just fix it. Like that. Ah, there we go. I was trying to keep the nose off, but uh, it bounced down, as you saw, so. All right, let's go again. This time, I'm not gonna do any specific takeoff. I'm just about to go to the end of the runway here. Well, actually, let's get off the ground. I'm gonna go to the end of the runway and do a Top Gun takeoff. So here we go. back up the traffic pattern altitude once again once again and um actually from here i'm just gonna skip to final of course i gotta fly it in real life but um as far as the editing and then for video purposes from here i'm just gonna switch uh i'm gonna edit out this part so that i can be on final and you don't have to watch all this so and final We've got a good 75 knots, which is a little fast. So we're going to just cut the power here. We're going to line up with the runway with rudder. But not quite lined up. I'm actually going to stay slightly pointed to the right. I've noticed that uh, that's a good, that helps. I've got two lights, two reds, two whites. We're good. I'm going a little slow, but that's okay as well. Attempt to land on the right side of the line instead of the left side. Hey, there we go. That one was good. That was a good one. That was a very good one. All right, I'm going to do one more. Uh, I'll see y'all back on final. Actually, you know what? You can watch this because I'm about to do something stupid. But, um... Yeah, I want to go back and do one more. And then we're going to turn off the wind and practice. Uh, actually, no, we're going to keep the wind and practice everything else with the wind blowing. So, like I said, I didn't feel like, I did not feel like uh, doing the whole traffic pattern. So, I'm just playing the game now. Playing it as a game. I'm about a thousand feet. That's about where I want to be for uh, a little bit over a thousand feet. That's where I want to be for the quote unquote final. So we're just going to get some distance so that the distance is right. Just line up with that lake right there. And it should be okay. All right, let's go ahead and slow it down. Climb and turn a little bit to get the uh, airspeed down. go to 20 degrees of flaps a little bit more flaps all right now a 
We're going 80 knots, which is too hard or too too fast. We're gonna use a little bit more flaps because we are going pretty fast. Try to get that speed down. Make this a soft feel, which means I'm gonna get it very slow as I can get almost. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Good job, TJ. Boom. And nose wheel is up, and we're good to go. Didn't hold center line at all, but oh, there we go. Now I can hold center line. When you touch down, you want to put full correction in for the wind. I'll touch down a state like that, which as you see, that's the difference right there. Like I'm I'm gonna hold center line, take out the correction and the plane automatically starts turning. Keep the correction in, and now you can hold it straight. So, okay. Uh, we're gonna do a soft field, high crosswind takeoff. So, we're gonna do a 10 degrees of flaps. We're gonna do crosswind correction, full aft, elevator, and full speed. Even though I know we're supposed to be moving already, but... Alright, one wingspan above the runway, which is pretty much where I'm at. I'm a little high, but I think I'll be okay. We are at almost at 80 knots. I'm going to do 80 knots. And I'll start climbing, positive rate, flaps up. And yeah, now I can climb out at 80 knots and we are good to go. All right, this will be a uh, short field landing with crosswind. So I'm gonna try to land and stop as short as I possibly can. Uh, stall, stall if I can. So here we go. For it to be a short field, I'm gonna have to go full flaps uh, with the wind, so we'll see how that goes. So now I'm gonna actually aim for the right side of the bars for the most part, because I'm gonna drift. Like, I, I'm not gonna go straight, so. Let's just assume the drift is real. Short field, I know my stall speed is 40 knots, so I'm gonna let that speed bleed off some more and get to about 55 here. And then, oh, God damn it. Well, alrighty. That was B-A-D bad. Bad, 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 bad. Bad. Um, I tried to take out correction way like that was that was bad so we're gonna redo this one again sh short field takeoff short field landing let's go ahead and do that flaps up to 10 percent wait for us to get full power crosswind correction go that crab in come on crab no lobster all right there we go I'm gonna turn crosswind early because it's a game and I really don't feel like going all the way I want to hurry up and get back on final so Go ahead and turn an early crosswind. Climb up some more.
I seem to be doing fine like this. So that's good. Like I said, keep that one wing low. And I want to try to stop before the bars. Uh, yeah, okay, yep. Okay, so less than a thousand feet. Hold on a second. I wonder if you can... Oh, well. It would probably help if I brought up the flaps. So yeah, less than a thousand feet. So that was a short field landing, short field takeoff. We're going to do a soft field takeoff, but guess what we're going to do it? We're going to do it over there in the grass. So here we go. A little bit. And let's go. All right, we are off the ground. Hold it here. We're above rotation speed. We are above rotation speed plus 10 knots, positive rate. Flaps up. We're also gonna do that soft field landing in the grass just because that's what it that's what it's supposed to be is a soft field. So I'm gonna do that there too. And of course I'm not coordinated. There we go. Actually, no, I'm gonna do the soft field on the runway because I wanna make sure I'm holding center line. That's very important. that crab just a little bit so I want to crab a little it's like a mixture between the wing low and the crab method because really I need both of them I mean that's just what it feels like to me that I need to crab but I also need to be like straight enough so I'm not like whipping the nose back in when the when I get down here because if it's too crabbed I really have to kick the dang nose in and I'm not that good at it yet so we're just gonna do it like this which seems to be working for me so I mean shoot what works you know like look at that look at that it's beautiful it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And then as I'm waiting, I kick the nose in. And we're good. Put that crosswind correction in. And yeah, soft feel. So, yep. All right. And that's what a 14 mile an hour or 14 knot crosswind. Where is the... Hold on a second. Where is the dang windsock? I thought it was like right... Oh, there's the tower. Anyway, where's the windsock? Hold on a second. There it is. It's... Yeah, you can't really see it. Graphics aren't that great. Well, I mean, actually, the graphics are really good. But, um... Virtual desktop and stuff. And this is a... X-Plane 12 is in... Technically in beta, I guess you can say. So, it's still kind of iffy. All right, um, shall I do another, let's see, that was a soft field. I guess I'll do one more short field and I'll call it a video for now. Um, yeah, so here we go. Crosswind correction. Uh, I'm going to do a short field. So 10 degrees of flaps, brakes on, full power. I'm not lined up with the runway, I know. All right, here we go. I'll line it up as I go. The weird thing for me about uh, short field, well, I guess it's to clear that obstacle quickly, but you can just fly it normally, basically. I mean, it's not much. doesn't take that much for this. All right, we're going to airspeed and pitch down just a little bit. All right, 75 knots, a little much, more flaps, going a little fast. More flaps because I'm going too fast. So we're just gonna do a full flaps, normal landing with the crosswind. So here we go. 
Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to use, like I said, a combination of my two methods to do what I need to do. Trim looks good. Sixty knots, sixty-five. That looks great. Fifty-five. I didn't make it to the bars, but I guess if I would have slammed my brakes, you could have called that a short field. Um. Let's do another landing. One more. One last one. I'm going to try to make it to the captain bars for a spot landing. So here we go. Which I already know I can make it to the captain bars. I really just don't worry about doing it. I'm just trying to put the uh, plane down in as short a distance as possible and as slow as possible personally. But um, I know that's something I need to do is to be able to actually make it to where I'm trying to make it to. So this landing will be a normal landing. Um, and I will be going, like I said, to the captain bars. Just to say I can do it. I hit the captain bars and that will be it for tonight. That'll be it for this video. And I will be posting it on uh, Wednesday, which is tomorrow. And I have my flight lesson on Friday. So, yeah. I guess I'll do some bonus stuff at the end just to be funny. All right. Oh, I'm not even at traffic pattern yet. All right. Traffic pattern altitude. Bring that RPMs down, trim it out, and there we go. Am I over the, okay, I'm very close to the runway, so we're gonna just do that. Like, I'm, I'm on the runway, basically, but that's okay. Because we're still going to get it right. All right. 1,500 RPM, airspeed 10 degrees of flaps, car P, even though this thing doesn't have car P. Um, I'm going to actually descend pretty hard here just because I know I'm so close to the runway already. I'm going to do some weird stuff. Like, I'm right there, yeah. So, we're going to do a base final turn that is the same, base and final. Uh, less flaps this time because I want to do a normal landing, but I want to make the captain's bar. So, I'm going to take away some of that extra speed decreasing when I get down there. So, I can just float. Because that's really all I'm doing is inducing a massive float. From the time I ram, uh, round out. I'm also not going to round out over the number. I'm going to round out between the number and those first bars right there. Simply because I want to keep as much airspeed and distance as possible. To force myself to land where I want to land. Give it some air. Or give it some power to keep us at about 70 knots here. And, and alright. Now I'm going to just wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Nope, didn't make it. And so that's what I'm saying. I have to actually use more power in order to... Um, I got to take out the power in a shorter... I'm not going to leave power in longer, I guess, in order to make it because I, I start going slow or come in faster, whichever one comes first. So I know I said that last one was the last one, but I did not make the captain bars, so we're going again.
That takeoff was a little shaky, but I've gotten to that point, if y'all know what I mean. Like, it's it's in the sim. It doesn't do it in real life, but I got to the point where I'm like, okay, let's hurry up and get around the traffic pattern so I can get back to final practice when I'm here to practice. Of course, in real life, it's fun to fly. You know, it's fun to fly in the sim, too. It's just sometimes you really just want to do what you got to do. Like, I can do, I can't do this in real life. So, yeah, stuff you can't do in real life. I think this plane can actually do a loop in the sim. Uh, it breaks the, it breaks your, um, it breaks your instruments. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it breaks the, uh, it doesn't break the, yeah, it breaks your attitude indicator. But we're going to do that afterwards just for shits and giggles. I need to uh, make these captain bars, so it's very important. Very important. That I make it to the captain bars. And you know what? That'll be my short field. My short field will be land on the captain bars, but stop before the first turn off right there so I don't you know so yeah so that's what it's gonna be captain bars and the turn off the turn off also my controller is doing some weird shit so we're just gonna grab that make sure it's awake we're gonna grab this make sure it's awake okie doke let's go ahead and get ready for our landing so I did not make it to traffic pattern altitude, but I'm not really concerned with that right now. I just want to practice my landings. So, 10 degrees of flaps is in. We're going to go ahead and loop around. I'm going a little slow, but like I said, that's fine because I'm actually too low anyway. Um, let's see here. More flaps. Like I said, this is going to be a short field, but I'm going to make the captain bars. So here we go. 65 knots, full flaps, with wind, and I'm going to hold my airspeed using my uh, throttle here when I get close to the actual runway. I'm going to let it, I'm going to let my speed get really slow. So I can actually hit the captain bars and stop before I get to my first thing. Now I use power to keep my airspeed where it needs to be. As I come on in. And I know you're supposed to pitch for airspeed. But uh, in this situation, I'm only using power to basically keep my descent rate from getting too high. You know, like I pull out power and now I'm descending a little more. You know. And so there we go. And boom, boom. And hit the brakes and put in cross one correction. And there we go. I made it. Captain bars there. Let's look at the instant replay, shall we? All right. So instant replay. Here we are. Boom. Touchdown directly on the captain bars. And I'm on center line, actually. So that's great. And I stomped on the brakes. Let's look at that one more time. And full speed. Captain's bars. Yeah. And slow mo. Here is the slow mo. Here we go. Don't you love the sound of tires being destroyed in the morning? It's a wonderful, wonderful thing.
Charlie? Is that Charlie? Hey, Charlie. I won't land on you, I promise. Don't land on Charlie, everybody. Just don't do it. It's not good. Oh yeah, you, we wanted to see if we could do a loop. So let's go do a loop. We're gonna take off from the taxiway, cause why not? So we're gonna do a loop, and then we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do a loop, and then I'm gonna do one more landing, I guess, and then I'll put it up. We're gonna pitch and let our airspeed build up naturally. Wait till I get to the top of the green arc. Simply because I don't want to uh, have to use so much angle, angle of, uh, I don't want to pitch down too much to get airspeed. All right, let's go. Here we go. And. There it is. The plane literally, you can hear it creaking and stuff. Like it does not like this. All right, there's your loop. And as you see, I broke my uh, attitude indicator. Once again, for shits and giggles, since the attitude indicator is already broken. Oh, come on, Cessna. Come on, you got this. There we go. And look at that. I'm still at 2,500 feet. I'm holding altitude doing all this stuff, so that works out. I broke the plane, but who cares? I'll fix it when I get on the ground. Of course, I can't check my attitude anymore, but again, I don't care right now. Oh my God, my game started glitching midway through a goddamn loop. All right, well, that was a loop and two rolls. Or midway through a roll, my game glitched. But yeah, there was a loop and two rolls. gonna go to no power because I am going really fast I'm surprised my wings didn't come off but anyway it's gonna pitch up like this get rid of all that airspeed I'm way above traffic pattern altitude we're gonna go to flaps now and go to full flaps this is completely unconventional this time do not listen to anything I'm saying for I mean none of this is this is my training. This is not instructional because I'm not an instructor. I'm just playing around and doing what I need to do for my own training. So don't look at what I'm doing, especially this last time, and think that that's how it's done. I'm, I'm just quickly doing stuff. Let's do a slip to get more uh, descent rate without gaining too much airspeed here. And you know what? Let's try to get the captain bars again. Seeing as we got all this airspeed, I probably won't even need to use uh, power to get me there because we're coming in at 70, so that should be enough. Oh, look at that. We were right on glide slope right before the runway. That's good.
There we go. A little bit of a hard landing, but my nose wheel didn't hit the ground, so we are good to go. All right, and we got stopped before the first exit. Like I said, that one was me just being in the simulator messing around. Oh, you want to see a really cool trick? Watch this. See that airplane right there? Here we go. You're in my spot. Hey, you're in my spot. Excuse me. All right, let's park our airplane inside of another airplane. All righty, there we go. Cessna inside of whatever the heck this jet is. I think it's a... Perfect timing. I guess I've been here long enough. My headset is about to die. So, that's X-Plane 12 VR. Um private pilot training simulation so yep Miriam I hope you watch this video all right better watch my video if you don't I'm gonna be sad 14 knot freaking crosswind from 90 degrees which is what we had last class and yeah so there we go I can you know I'm, I'm gonna be better next time so yep all right everybody Thank you for watching the Papa Zulu. Zip, 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 zip. Thank you for watching the Papa Zulu YouTube channel. I'm getting the heck up out of here. Uh, so let's do a shutdown procedure, shall we? All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at all this. Flaps are up. Car peat is in because we don't have a car peat. Um, power is to idle. Let's go ahead and kill the. Oh, oh, let's turn off our nav light. Let's turn off our strobe. Let's turn off our taxi light. Let's turn off our landing light. Let's leave the beacon on because we're gonna leave on the beacon. Alrighty. Let us kill. Oop. Let's kill it slowly. Listen to it die. Listen, hold up, we're gonna hear it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah, you don't like that, do you? Nope, nope. Alright, it's over. Okay, doke, let's turn everything else off. Oh, wait, leave the beacon on. Leave the beacon. Oh, oh, no, no. Leave the beacon. No. There we go. Okay, dope. And as you see, the, the attitude indicator is still broken. I'm going to have to fix that. But um, you do it in the menu, so it's not a big deal. All right, so we had full fuel and stuff, but it doesn't even matter because the plane is off. You can't see any of that now. All right, well, thank you guys. I will see you later. Have a nice one. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.